Just be mindful of that. A call on Government Order of the Day number two. Social Assistance Living Alone Payments Amendment Bill, third reading. Uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Uh, Mr Speaker, I move that the Social Assistance Living Alone Payments Amendment Bill be now read a third time. This bill amends the New Zealand Superannuation and Retirement Income Act 2001 and the War Pensions Act 1954. The changes in the bill will improve services for New Zealand superannuitants and veterans pensioners who live alone and are entitled to receive the additional living alone payment. Mr Speaker, the changes before us fulfil this government's commitment to ensure superannuitants and veterans pensioners living alone receive their full entitlement without unnecessary administration and compliance burdens. This bill also also builds on New Zealand's commitment to superannuitants. As the House is aware, the Prime Minister has assured the public that New Zealand superannuation settings and the age of entitlement will not be changed by this government. Since National took office in 2008, superannuation has increased five times, a total increase of 25 per cent. And for a pensioner who is living alone, the single living alone payment has increased by $143 each fortnight. The Living Alone Payment is a separate supplementary benefit that recognises that single supers and veterans pensioners who live alone face higher living costs as they are, un are unable to share the expenses of maintaining a household. Because the Living Alone Payment is a separate benefit, supers and veterans pensioners who have become single, usually after the death of a partner or spouse, are required to make a special um, and specific application to receive it. The bill before the House today replaces two separate payments with one. Currently, a superannuant living alone has to apply for two separate payments, both New Zealand super and the living alone payment. The new living alone rate will ensure that single supers and veterans pensioners who are living alone do not have to make a separate application just makes sense, really. We've done this to specifically address concerns from supers and veterans. These groups are concerned because if they don't apply for the living alone payment within 28 days of the death of a spouse or partner, they then find their living alone payments can't be backdated. This can be a real burden on older New Zealanders, particularly if they have just lost a long-term partner or spouse. Also, because many aren't aware of the payment, many don't apply for it and so miss out on their full entitlements. Mr Speaker, it's important we amend this legislation so older New Zealanders who suddenly find themselves alone do not struggle to pay their bills when they are entitled to get help. And this bill will change that. So there are two key benefits for older people. The first is about access. Single supers and single vets won't have to complete a separate, separate application form to get their full entitlement. They can just let us know over the phone, which I think is pretty exciting, or by email, or of course by visiting one of our super centres. This is something we know seniors want and can make life a bit easier. It just simplifies the process. The second change is I've noticed about recognising the stress and burden um, that they can experience with the death of a partner or a spouse. In summary, this bill ensures a fairer, more equitable and more compassionate experience for supers and vets who are left living alone following the death of a spouse or partner. Changes are simple yet effective. They provide older New Zealanders with better access to the correct rate of entitlement with the least amount of burden. And I commend this bill to the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to. Uh, um, Dr. Ajim